and hello and welcome back to the channel and today on the channel we are playing a game and the game is spot the eggle can you see him i do believe he is there oh what was that i saw something then did you see that hey oh aha it's me egg elf Warrior, um, trader, storyteller, and runecaster. Good day. Hey, before we get going, don't forget press the give it the subscription bell on there and leave us a message. Sounds like I need a servant. Well, servants in the Viking world were well, all over. They had various duties. I mean, if you're wealthy, you don't want to be scrubbing out pans and things, so they'd have housemaid they'd have someone to do the sweeping someone to look after the farm animals to make sure they were fed and various other tasks in fact anything that they didn't want to do that's all well and good what kind of people did that well people who with wealth and power and of course money and it's the same as today if you've got a lot of money you can have yourself someone who cleans up for you and it was the same in the viking age now, how do you select one? Well, I'm going to tell you a story about how this was done. It's an old Derbyshire tale, believe it or not, in England. That's the Midlands, to those of you who are unsure. So, it happened many years ago that in the Dales of Derby, I think it was around Matlock Way now, there was a farmer, quite a wealthy farmer, had lots of land. And his wife decided she needed a housemaid. Husband? What? We need an indoor maid to clean this place up. Yeah, you're quite right, my darling. He says, it's getting to be a tad messy. So, I'll leave that to you then, darling. Oh, cheers. Now that's all well and good, but how do you choose a housemaid? How do you choose a servant? Anyway. Well, it so happened one of the retainers heard the conversation. Excuse me, miss. Uh, yes. I could hear uh, overhearing you. Yeah. How do you choose a servant? I've got an idea. Really? Um, what idea is that? Trust me, would I lie to you? And out he goes into the cops at the back of the house. Draws out his scrammer sack, chopping away at young trees until he formed what's called a besom. What's a besom? It's like a brush for sweeping. You've seen the pictures of witches in fairy stories and they're riding a broomstick, that kind of thing. So he then placed it near the doorway. Right, we'll see what goes on here, shall we? Yeah, all right. Bring one, first one in. In she comes, sees the besom. Kicks it out of the way. Hello, madam. Yeah, all right. Um, well, perhaps it's a bad day for her. I don't know. Maybe she's just angry. I don't know. But... Okay, the next one, please. In she comes. She's the brush. Over the top. Madam. All oh, right. Well, she seems like she wants to skip work. Oh, very funny. Yes, sir. Yeah, she's got to skip work, I think. Okay, bring the next one in. In she came. She picked up the bees and put it in the corner, smoothed her hair, put her hands in front of her. Yes, ma'am? That's the one, she said. Neat, tidy girl, very conscientious. And that, ladies and gentlemen, is how they chose servants, possibly. Okay, till we meet again, and I have some more stories for you, or braggy. Uh, don't forget, as I say, Press that bell in the corner, leave us a subscription, and hey, leave us a comment. Till we meet again, and I've got another story for you. Bye. Gotta go.